Hi, I'm Brasco. And I'm Beast. And today we're going to be going over one of our Uncut Classroom Frisky segment. We actually got into a little bit of an argument. Well, actually, let's just say... Well, not an argument. Well, yeah, not, can I just... I, I want to say that we are recording this after we had the conversation. Right. So I think that's important to know. This is not something, oh, today we're going to talk about it. And it was a planned conversation. We actually, we were making our video, uh, exercise video, Billy Blanks inspired... Um, please check out that video. Subscribe if you like it. Oh no, subscribe if you like it. Like it and don't forget to hit the bell. As okay. a side note, um, but we got in. I was very impatient. I was in, and we got into a little something or not. I don't know, babe. You tell me how you felt about. It. I just know that I was impatient and I wanted to apologize to him. I feel the best thing is just to go into the video. Oh, oh yeah. Why don't you add the video in here? I will. And, and, and he'll show you. I'll show you. Resto and Beast, fit, fabulous, and frisky. I mean, he'd be like, oh, I, I can't, I can't direct okay. you and argue with okay. you at the same right, time. Come I, come if come I'm come directing you, I need to just, just, okay. just, just trust me to do what I do. Is all I'm asking. I know. Okay. okay? And you'll do this one. I'll do the next exercise one. Yeah, we, we can do. We can. All right, come on, babe. I just want to move through. Um. I get this is what people do when they actually are filming, like videos and model shoots. Yeah, that's just part movie. of the process. You know. Okay, so here we go. Go right over there where you were. Yes, I got you. Okay. All right. Are you ready? You should move up a little bit because I'm not going to be able to pick. Thank you. Got it. All right. You ready? Yes. This is the one thing we're doing. Just doing eight counts. One, two, three. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. My, I, I apologize. I was getting short. We were trying to make the video. And I was being bratty and, you know, my lack of, uh, you know, what do you always say about me? You say I'm impatient. No, I'm not saying you're impatient. Just... I need to trust. You want me to trust you, especially knowing you know, that you, you know, are expert in something. And I always want to know everything that I'm doing. Like, I want to understand it. I want to know it before I jump in. Yeah. And sometimes what I'm learning from our relationship is because I trust you, you haven't led me astray so far, and knowing that you're an expert in something in particular, I got to learn to, to go with it. And I think I get there, but I go along, you know, to... It takes a while for me to get there, but I could tell you were not frustrated. I was frustrated, and you were staying calm, which was very good. But I could tell by your like your facial expression that you were like, if she doesn't just let me handle this because I know what I'm doing. For example, the frame when you were telling me to come in the frame, you know, and I'm like, no. Why do I need oh, to come in the, the frame? Push -ups? You mean for the push -ups? No, for oh, what for we were today. doing. Oh. I'm saying this is a conversation. This is. This is related to today. Yes, I'm apologizing yeah. to you. Well, are you are we on the same apology. page? Uh, yeah, I accept your apology. I do. I know, but I think it, it's it's something that I just wanted to spend a couple minutes on to share with our, you know. No, I, I don't have a problem with that either. No, I don't have a problem with that. I just, I, just, I mean, it's just, just, like I said to you previously, but like, <clears throat> I can't I can't argue with you and direct direct you at the same time. You know, it's just that the, when 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 I when I see something that would work, we gotta try it. I think your your desire to make everything perfect the first time can sometimes get in the way, because creating is a messy process sometimes. You know. Okay. <laughs> I'm just yourself. saying that, that yes, that got Creating you. is a messy process sometimes. And then sometimes out of the, what is it, the, um, out of the chaos comes creativity. You know, like if you're at a studio and you're doing a song, you may start off with a certain beat and a certain rhythm order, and it may just morph into something else just because the feeling. You know, you always say that you're a, a person of Rhythm, feelings, and spirits. And I'm all about, yeah, energy. Energy, yeah, energy, energy right? Energy is my thing. Okay, so the energy of something is something that you can't bridle. You have to let it go for whatever it's going to do. 
right? Yes. Good or bad, you know. You, you but but sometimes, but so so a lot of times, like if you if you, if if you if you try to set things up, if you become overly concerned about a process in which someone else is trying to direct you in, you'll gum up the process and mess up the whole flow of the whole thing. You know, in light of trying to understand this one section, like you know, uh, another analogy I gave you was, you know, like uh, you could be a great basketball player by yourself. Even Jordan was, but what he learned from Phil Jackson how to pass the ball and trust Scotty. Now Scotty coming up also helped out, obviously. But when he learned to trust his teammates and to give the ball to Paxton or give the ball to Kerr and let them shoot that last shot when everybody's on them, yeah, he could make a shot with three people on him, which is a high difficulty shot. Or he could trust his teammate and pass the ball right at the last minute where they have an open shot, which is a higher percentage of winning. We're not trying to win a game. We're trying to win a championship. In fact, we're trying to be a repeat championships, you know? And I'm not, I don't, and I don't, I don't, and I don't, I don't want to belabor it. I don't, because I, I hate, when I, when I do something wrong, I like to understand it and I let it go. Because I don't want to be, I don't want to be hammered after I say, okay, I get it. I don't want to be hammered. I don't hammer you. I'm not going to hammer you. I, don't, I, I despise that tremendously. I, I despise being hammered, and I despise people who hammer people. Because to me... Why do you use despise? Despise, not because that's how I feel about it. I know, but you're talking to me. So I'm not saying I despise you. I said I despise when people are like that. Right. I was about to elaborate on why. Okay. Okay, because what they, they exemplify to me, a very unforgiving spirit. To me. Because it's like, you did something wrong. I'm going to tell you you did it wrong, and I'm going to keep telling you, do you understand you did it? Do you know you did it? Did you do it? All right. And then it, it's like, okay. Because, see, what happens, it, it then becomes a, well, when the tables are turned, typically somebody that's like that don't want to be, you know, they say, okay, I get it. Get off of me. I get. But, see, there's an impatience because there's always an imbalance in that type of a person because they, they hammer, you're hammer, speaking hammer. speaking directly to me. And you're no, I'm not speaking like, directly. I'm no, speaking. because you've told me before that I had, you said something to me about the spirit of forgiveness and yeah. that's something that you think that from our conversations about different things that mm -hmm. that's something I have to work on. And I think I agreed based on that conversation mm -hmm. that I, I don't think I, I have a forgiving spirit. I think that I'm learning and I'm better. And mm -hmm. I think through this relationship, I'm able to receive a lot of things about myself. And some of that's coming with age and wisdom and, you know, pausing to, you know, listen to someone. Mm -hmm. But I feel like what just happened, you know, as we were doing our video, mm -hmm. a lot of it is about being vulnerable for me, okay. you know, in terms of that trust. I get it, but when it impacts my life directly, I like to know how it's going to be done. I want to do it this way. I want to, because, you know, I like just in the work. I know how to delegate things. But even when I delegate, I'm delegating it based on my plan, which means if it fails, whether I delegated to the wrong person, I'm fully responsible for it. For something like this, we're doing, you know, we're, we're taping our video. You're doing things, moving the camera around and let's redo this or whatever. And you're not explaining any of it to me. So for me, what is very natural for me is to be like, well, well no, it's, it's chaotic to me. Because, you know, and, and to trust you in the process, which I, which I agree with, means there's a certain vulnerability. That means that I am really relinquishing and saying, you know what? Beast has this, and I'm just going to go with it, and it's going to be all right. Okay. I... I remember that conversation we had, right? And uh, here's what made me put all my chips in the middle of the table to bet on you and us. Because you're willing to. You see, because just like you're, you're a big proponent of energy, I'm a big proponent of intent. Like I've said before. You have said that very yeah, intent. Intent means a lot to me, you know. Um, because because intent says where your heart is and your spirit is when you're doing your motivation for doing something. You know, it's my intent to do this. Now, I may screw it all the way up. My intent doesn't make it okay. You still got to answer for screwing something up. And you still got to answer for correcting it. 
All right. But if your intent was not to be wrong, then that means we got something we can build on. But if your intent was to, to say, I didn't give a damn in the first place, well, you got no, you got no foundation. And any building without a foundation has to crumble. It looked pretty, but it's going to crumble because the minute any kind of adversity hit it, it crumbles, no matter how strong it looks, because it has no foundation. You know, the house built on the sand, the house built on the rock. So you're saying that because you understand my intent, that Always. You, you're willing to bet on us and you? Not only that, not only that, but when you said, like you said, I, I knew you felt bad. After you realize what you did, I knew you felt bad. Mm -hmm. So the last thing I want to do is to make you feel worse. Like, yeah, you shouldn't have did that. You know, and I and you might have actually I been came okay over with to that. you afterwards, and I was like, babe, hold me. Yeah, hug me. As I apologize <laughs> because I I did feel like, okay, you're supposed to get better. I'm getting better because I am recognizing things a lot more. You have gotten better since we've been together. I think so too. I know so. That's why I said it. Yeah. You know. Um, and a lot of times, like, like there's something you said that just struck my head. Like when you uh, say, well, like when you're, you're doing this and that, I need you to explain to me. You're, you're not explaining it to me. Well, here's what's happening. Sometimes, because sometimes I don't explain it to you because it's automatic in my head. Okay? That I will concede. But also there are times I have explained it and you didn't hear me. Because you're so busy trying to figure out something, you're not really listening. You're going, yeah, but I want to see this. You know, I'm trying to explain to you this over here. You're like, but what's going on over here on the left? Let me explain to you this on the right. Yeah, I know, but I want to know what's on the left. No, I'm hearing it, but I'm trying to process. And the questions I'm asking in connection with it is me processing. So you said it to me, and I'm like, no, well, what about this? What about that? That's still about me trying to get it based off of your statement. I, I know, baby. You just actually, you just did it again. What? I was just about to explain to you the left and right thing. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Never mind. This I is know a break, and I, I know we got no, 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 to get back to things. I, I, I know your intent. Mm -hmm. When you tell me you're sorry about something, I mean this, okay? When you tell me you're sorry about something, I believe you. I never, you know, unless you don't understand what you did, or I don't understand what you did, you know? Or I don't understand the intent. When you say you're sorry, <clears throat> I believe you're genuine. So I don't have to test and see if you're really genuine. I don't. I ain't saying it too often. Well, that's not that. with us. I'm just saying general. I'm not like you know. But <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. Listen. Focus. Someday. Focus. Someday. Brasco. Someday. Right. Someday. See. See the. <laughs> go ahead. I, I, I'm, I'm refocused. Let's go. Go ahead. It's, it's okay. Just know that I love you and it's okay. Okay. And I wanted you to know mm -hmm. that I apologize and I didn't want to, you know, not that we did it in past or I did it in past, but I wanted to come back over here as you were on the couch and just to reiterate. And I figured, hey. Well, you know, I'm going to be honest. A lot of people don't like to confront the idea that they need to improve something about themselves. I didn't want to confront the idea that I needed to improve some things about myself, that you prompted me to be more aggressive, more assertive, more consistent, which is a weakness I've had. Even with all the accolades and success I've had in my career, um, usually I've been so much beyond my competition that when I decided to take a break, everybody else tired anyway. Yeah. You know. But to be around somebody who push, 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 and I don't see that as a bad thing. You know, I interpret it as a good thing. All right. Where somebody else with you would may consider your way of pushing things is being anything but nice, right? Put a word or two with whatever you want. Yeah. But but I get it, because I get what the intent is. Intent. You see what I'm saying? I do. So the intent makes it okay. Now, you don't want to be you don't want to be abrasive while you're doing it, obviously, or you know, or insensitive. But but just still, the intent is all the whole world. And so I mean, like, you know, it's really taboo for people to talk about. It. 
I mean, you want me to talk about what I don't, I ain't got to, you know, I'm grown. I've been around for 50 years. I ain't got nothing else to learn. Man, I've learned more this last year, last two years, than I have in a while. I and I think started, it's taboo yeah. for people in relationships, especially in new relationships, to do things like this kind of conversation because you don't want to push somebody away. Right. You don't want to. You don't want to risk. You don't want to risk. See, and see, I, I, okay. So, and that's and that's where and that's where and that's where we have to be different than most people. We we have to risk the chance of talking about something and not leaving it on the table undone. Because see, if you leave it on the table undone because it's, it's too scary, mm -hmm. then I think that that thing will fester. You said that before too, you know? Have, yeah. You know, it'll fester, you know? It's like leaving food on the table where they eventually ants and flies will get to it, right? Mm -hmm. Now you yeah. got a mess. Now you not only have dirty dishes oh, and molded yeah. dishes, but now you got ants <laughs> And, you know, if you're from the city, roaches, yeah. you know, country too. If you leave it on the table, I, I get that. And I also think that in that same vein, you know, if you just change something on a conversation, based on a conversation, oh, yeah, yeah, well, he wants it this way. And then I just kind of adjust down the, the line, you know, res not resentment, that's kind of strong, mm -hmm. but you're doing it for, in my opinion, the wrong reasons. Your motivation mm -hmm. is just... Well, beast got on me about this and he wants it this way and I want everything to be happy-go-lucky mm -hmm. and I'm not going to talk to him about, well, I'm not too sure about, or I feel this way because I don't want to rock the boat. So I just kind of do it this way. I think long term, it's hard to do that for a lifetime or a second half life. No, it is. You know? um, lack, of, lack of speaking up is um, permission. You know. Exactly. Yes, you know. I love that. Lack yeah. of speaking yeah, up yeah, is yeah. permission. Silence is implied permission. Silence is implied Silence permission. Silence is implied permission. Oh, baby, I like that. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. So, so the person, so we have to agree. The person that it that is offended has to agree to have the courage to say something. Yeah. But the person that's been, that's the being accused of offending the person, has to have the patience to listen. Fully. First. Why is there emphasis like you're fully. talking and directing? Oh, I'm, it to oh, I'm talking me. specifically to you now. <laughs> okay. So, so I'm not. Look, I'm not speaking in <laughs> parables. No, 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 no. I'm not speaking in parables right now. I'm speaking to you directly. <laughs> I am fully. listening. Yes. Fully. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I know you got to get back to work. Go get back to work. I know. All right, love you, baby. Love you too. Give me a hug. Oh. Mm. You know I really like skin to skin contact with these hugs. You can't do that. We on camera. I know. Got to keep it PG. Mm. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. All is well. <sighs> so. What you saw was not um, not rehearsed, planned. You know, you you came over and you talked to me, um, and I talked back. That was actually a real moment we captured on camera. I think so. Which too. is weird because I'm gonna be honest. This whole reality TV type stuff is a little different because I've never I've never resolved a real relationship problem on camera before. Neither have I. It's new so to that's kind of new and different. Uh, but I guess we'll have to get accustomed to it if we're going to be honest about and authentic. Authentic about yeah yeah and and, and that this case your word really works. Um, so I'm not saying anybody has to do things the way we do. But one thing that I have learned from this is um, listen to the person. I've learned to be forgiving. I've learned to uh, I've learned to just try to explain myself a little more so that you're not in the dark about things so it doesn't add to the confusion because it's hard for you to relate to things if you don't have a clear map of everything and I had to learn that you know chaos for you is very disturbing it, it goes is. into your OCD thing and the way that you m mentally deal with stuff so I have to learn to adjust the way that I do things 
so it doesn't become frustrating to you? What do you think you learned from this? I learned that by taking the time to pause and not kind of going on with the rest of our day, but by taking the time to pause and acknowledge that there was something that happened in terms of, you know, how I communicated or my response to something that made me um, uncomfortable and vulnerable in the sense of just allow you to run the whole thing is, is a good thing. Like you shouldn't just keep going on. I, I thought it was important or I learned that you were receptive to it. You say some things that I don't necessarily want to hear, but I think that they're honest because you love me. And if I receive I from you what you're saying to me, you know, I mean, I get it right then, but if I take in what you're saying, I'm really paying attention, it's going to make me a better person. And it's it's happened that way since we've been together. So I, I, kn I know that we're doing the right thing. Okay. It works for me. Well, anyway, um, my hope is that this may help other people go resolve That's the things. Goal. That's the whole point of sharing the fit, fabulous, and frisky trifold concept, right? Yeah, and we hope that if you guys, you know, found that this was something, you know, that you know, you have an opinion about that you would give us a comment. Yeah, go ahead. Let us know. Uh, that's for sure. But I want to go ahead and get out of here because you got to go back to work and now I got to go to work. Exactly. Right? Yep. <laughs> so um, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Leave us your comment. Hit the bell. Hit what the bell. The you bell, got it all, baby. Comment, comment, and comment. like. And likes. And likes. And uh, we appreciate your support. We really, we're thrilled. We're starting to, to trend on, on YouTube and we thank you guys, all you guys that are... Uh, Tuning in and subscribing. And in. Thank you so much. You've really given us some enthusiasm to put more content out there. We appreciate you. I want to take that time out to tell. We appreciate. We really all appreciate. Of you. We really do, because you guys are you guys are watching this at an alarming rate suddenly, and we're thankful for that. Very thankful. Okay. Yes. So, hang all in right. there. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Bye. I'm Beast. I'm Brasco. We're out of here. Out of here.